Hi, I'm Joe Hildebrand and I live in Shitsville. Why? Because I'm an Australian. What Lucky country, are? my ass. In Australia, everything goes wrong all the time. Just ask an Australian. So I'll be taking four leaders of tomorrow on a trip around the country to see if they can solve the big problems the leaders of today are too scared to face. Hi, Jai. Welcome aboard the Shitsville Express. <laughs> Jai Martinkovitz is a committed Christian, an avowed monarchist and proud member of the Liberal Party. At just 26, he lives in Sydney with a wife, a dog and a mortgage. It's the suburban dream. But I think that most Australians are intrinsically conservative. Hi, Siobhan. How are you? Siobhan Harris was a member of the Liberal Party, but she left because it wasn't, well, liberal enough. She now campaigns for the Taxpayers' Alliance and the Sex Party. So she believes in small government and big nights out. I think libertarians want to say to government, just get out of our lives, let us do our own thing. Hi, Francis. And what the hell is with that hat? There we go. Well, you're stuck with me now, Joe, so here we go. Francis Ventura is a Labor Party true believer, but he's not exactly your typical Labor hard man. He lives in Melbourne with his mother and grandmother and dog fluffy. Wherever I can uh, make the most change for disadvantaged people uh, is, is where I'll go. Hi, Madeline, how are you? Hi, Peace. Hi. I'm great. Hi, and Madeline Charles is a young Greens politician from Tasmania who wants to save the world one tree at a time. I see the Greens as making legislative changes and push those ideas forward very strongly to the mainstream. Over the next six weeks, we'll discover why Australia is heading to Shitsville. We'll see alcohol fueled violence in the street. Coal seam gas fueled violence on the farm. They're not coming on the land. Real estate fueled violence in the suburbs. Three million dollars. I mean, seriously, these prices are killing me. And then we'll take them to the most violent place of all, Canberra. I think if you're not dead yet, Kevin, you never will be. <laughs> Now there's a man who knows a thing or two about Shitsville. The government has absolutely no business in... Each week, our four will tackle a complex problem that's crippling our country and then get three minutes on a soapbox to solve it. So get on board the Shitsville Express. Trust me, your future depends on it.